Hey friends, it's Vicky, and I'm going to show you how to protect yourself against any sort of hate raids or follow bots that might come your way within your streaming endeavors. So shit is hitting the fan, you're panicking, your alerts are blasting in your ears and you don't know what to do. First things first is I open up twitch.tv, go to the right hand side, click your icon and find yourself in your creator dashboard. Once you've clicked on creator dashboard on the right hand side, you're going to look to the left, find your creator dashboard and look for stream manager. Once you find your stream manager, you're going to open up a page that sort of looks like this, where you see all your different panels from your activity list to your chat box to your quick actions. Um, you're going to want to look for your chat box and drop down to the very bottom of your page where you um, can send a message. Right underneath that text box is some icons. You're going to want to look for the shield icon. That is your shield mode. From there, if you're using OBS, same concept, look for your chat box and underneath the message area. Um, is going to be the shield icon. You're going to want to click that. Once you went ahead and clicked that option, you're going to get a box that says, hey man, do you want to do this? And you're going to obviously want to hit yes. You're under attack, put your shield up, enable that shit. Um, and from there, the little icon at the very bottom is going to light up red. It's going to put your chat in about a 30 second slow down mode, uh, follower only mode, and a couple other things depending on what you choose. Um, I recommend clicking the shield icon again and it'll open up a page that looks like this. Um, that gives you a bunch of different settings that you can choose to kind of tailor it towards um, what sort of situation you're dealing with. Um, I highly recommend one, obviously making sure that it's actually enabled at the very top. And then if you drop down to the very bottom, second thing from the bottom, it says um, disable Twitch alert. You're going to want to make sure that that's turned off. That way all of your alert sounds and stuff aren't just blasting to your chat. If you have a stream deck, it can be even easier. Just open up your stream deck app, make sure that you have your Twitch obviously linked to it, which you probably already do, um, and that you have the link uh, for the Twitch plugin as well already installed on your stream deck. Um, drop that down, find the shield mode at the very, very bottom, click and drag that over to an empty module, and then you have a button that'll enable all of that shit for you. After you got it to stop, you do your stream, you guys have fun, you end it, go over to commanderroot.com, um, link is on this little slide here, um, but it's a really great one-stop shop for all things moderation. It'll help you clean up that follower list to get rid of all those bots that are attached to your account. Um, it'll help you block all of those accounts that had spammed you and raided you. Um, and there's also a couple other really great moderation tools that you can kind of play with, including like black terms, um, known bot accounts, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's not too late to start defending yourself heavy against uh, these sort of attacks, especially on your Discord and on your Twitch page as well. Um, there's a lot of really great bots out there that'll help you manage those situations. Um, always make sure that you choose yourself um, good moderators that are not only active, but also that you trust. Um, have your block terms be relevant to things in your life that might uh, dox you or put your life and security into um, jeopardy. Um, and always remember to kind of just make sure you defend yourself against these sort of things because it can happen to anybody. Um, I hope this helps and uh, hopefully it won't happen to you, but if it does, you remember this video and um, it'll get you out of a sticky situation. All right. Thanks, guys.